Okay, so we're asked for the equation of a line. And whenever we're asked for the equation of a line, all we need is a point, a slope, and then we can put it into point slope form, or we can use y equals mx plus b, your choice. But I kind of like point slope, point slope form, it kind of rolls off the tongue. So anyway, here, point, check, right? And our slope is the derivative at that point. So we find the derivative, y prime is 3x squared minus 6x. And so when x is 3, because that's where we want it, the y prime will be 3 times 3 squared minus 6 times 3 is 27 minus 18 is 9. So the slope is 9. So we've got a point and we've got a slope, so we can put it into point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 2 equals 9 times x minus 3. And you can leave it there, or you can solve it out, y equals 9x minus 25. So if we were to look at, they've got it drawn at the point 3, 2, we can tell that the tangent line is indeed very steep and positive, so our slope of 9 makes sense, and the y-intercept would be crazy far down there at a negative 25, and that would be the equation of that perfectly straight line there. Yay! All right, we do it again. So now, geez, I need um, the derivative of this guy, so I'm going to make this plus a negative so I can do this easier. So quotient rule, the derivative of the top is zero, uh, and then so it doesn't matter what the bottom is, and then subtract the top times the derivative of the bottom, so times the 2x, all over the bottom squared. And so when x is negative 1, because that's where we want it, the slope is going to be Let's see, that'll be a positive 10 times negative 1 over 1 plus 1 squared. So that'll be a negative 10 over 4, so a lovely negative 5 halves. And so now we have a point and we have a slope, so we can do point slope form. So we do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, so that'll be plus 1. It's unfortunate that the y is the same as the slope, um, but so y minus y1 came from that. So we have y plus 5 halves equals negative 5 halves x minus 5 halves, so y just equals negative 5 halves x uh, minus 10 halves, so minus 5. Lovely. All right, so we can hopefully see this. When x is negative 1, the y is 5 halves. If I were to draw a tangent line in there, <laughs> beautiful. Um, it is negative, we can tell, and it would pass it about negative 5, which is kind of how I have it. You can always graph them on Desmos, uh, and it's fun to see them work pretty, um, unlike my beautiful drawings here. All right. So we do it again, we've got a point, all we need is a slope, so y prime equals 3x squared minus 4x, when x is 2, because we want it when x is 2, we have 3 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 is, oh, what's that, 12 minus 8 is 4, so if we've got a point of 2, 2, and a slope of 4, we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 2 is 4x minus 8. So y equals 4x minus 10. Check. We do it again. Lovely. So we have a point. Check. Our slope is the derivative. I'm going to change this to plus a negative to make it easier. So it's the top 
times the derivative of the sorry, it's the derivative of the top, which is zero, times the bottom, so that doesn't matter. And then minus the top, so plus a three times the derivative of the bottom. All over the bottom squared. Alright. So when x is negative 4, the derivative is going to be uh, 6 times negative 4 over 16 minus 25 squared. So that's negative 24 over uh, what was that? 81. Lovely. Okay, so we've got the point negative 4, 1 third, and our slope is that reduces, that's divided by 3 is negative 8 over 27, negative 8 over 27, and so we do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Before I work this out, I'm going to go check, so number 4. Okay, negative 8 27 is indeed the slope. Negative 23 seconds. Alright, so it's looking okay. And so we have y minus 1 third equals negative 8 27 x minus 32 27. And so if I add 1 third, I'll have y equals negative 8 27 uh, one third is nine twenty sevenths, so that'll be minus twenty three twenty sevenths, just like they said it would be. Oh, jeez. All right. Huh. And again, they love these quotients. So we have plus, minus, and so my derivative is going to be the derivative of the top, which is zero, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom the bottom and off we go. When x is 1, my derivative is going to be uh, 6 over 9. And then, so that's 2 thirds. So I have a point of 1, 1, and the slope of 2 thirds. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 1 equals 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds so y equals 2 thirds x minus 5 thirds lovely and again alright so our slope is going to be the derivative so we have 1 half times 5x plus 5 Subtract 1 from the power, multiply by the derivative of the inside. So when x is 4, the slope, the derivative is going to be 1 half times 25 to the negative 1 half times 5. Uh, 25 to the negative 1 half is 1 over the square root of 25 times 5. So those cancel, and I'm just going to get a slope of 1 half, because the square root of 25 is 5, cancels. One half. So now that I've got a slope of one half and a point four five, I can do y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. So y minus five equals one half x minus two. So y equals one half x plus three. There we go. And again. So we've got our point, we just need a slope, so the slope is the derivative. The derivative of ln of something is 1 over that something times the derivative of the inside, which is just 1 over x. So when x is negative 2, y prime is 1 over negative 2. So I've got a point, and I've got a slope, and so I push that into point-slope form, so y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus ln of 2 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. So y equals a lovely negative 1 half x minus 1 plus ln of 2. Alright. And 
and again. So we've got a point, we just need a slope, so the slope is the derivative. So negative 2 is just a constant, multiply that by the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. So when x is negative pi, y prime equals negative 2 times the secant squared of negative pi. So secant is uh, 1 over cosine, and I need that squared. So cosine of negative pi, the x value at negative pi is negative 1, and then, so I have 1 over negative 1 squared, so that's just 1, so my slope is 2, negative 2. Ah, so I've got a point negative pi 0 and a slope of negative 2, so y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, so y equals negative 2x minus 2 pi. Alright, so let's see how we did. Did them awfully fast. 